Recently, I drove from the UK to Sweden to pick up a Hasselblad X-Ban, and I also brought with me my Hasselblad 501CM medium format camera. And after several days on the road, I finally get to indulge myself and take both cameras out on a proper photo shoot. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Soderesson National Park in Sweden. I've probably just butchered the pronunciation, but this is a beautiful national park in the south of Sweden. Colors are just probably about peaking right now, maybe a little bit past peak. And today we're gonna to be shooting film. Well, it's a beautifully still and calm morning here in this national park. And I'm gonna start with a photograph that I've already taken. There's a beautiful scene here, a deep valley like a ravine with just fantastic arrangement of trees and beautiful autumn colors. Now, in last week's video, I very, very briefly for about an hour, ran around this national park with a Hasselblad x pan which I have in my bag. But whilst looking at this scene, I was thinking I'd love to shoot it medium format square. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the Hasselblad 501CM out and load some Fuji Provia 100. Got to be really uh, careful. <laughs> this this is a lot steeper than it looks. And yesterday, I was filming, and actually my tripod with the video camera fell over and smashed the lens and the body. Luckily, I have a spare video camera, but um, yeah, don't want a repeat of that, especially not with this camera. Anyway, I've got my composition set up now. I think it works beautifully as a one-to-one, -one, and I think Fuji Provia, which is a high contrast high saturation slide film, very, very small latitude. Um, but with that, you get color and contrast. But the downside of that is you have to nail your exposure. So I've taken a meter reading, F11, and I'm gonna go for six seconds. Put the camera on bulb mode, double check focus. Okay, oh, looks good. Mirror lock up. Six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a bit damp this morning and I wanna try another shot, this time with a polarizer, just to see if it makes much of a difference, get rid of a bit of glare off the leaves and add a touch more saturation. So let's uh, have a look at this and see. All right, so we are still shooting at F11. And although the polarizer takes away a stop and a half of light, the ambient light has increased. So we're still going with a six second exposure. Same as the first shot. I just wanna see if we get a bit of difference with the polarizer, a bit more richness in color. So let's have a look at this. Well folks, you're gonna need to prepare yourselves for this one. You are currently looking at the polarized shot, albeit overexposed by about a stop. Now I know that a polarizer makes a difference when shooting woodland scenes, but this was night and day. The image on the left was the one without a polarizer. Both shots were taken about 10 minutes apart and they were both scanned at the same time using the same settings and both have identical processing. 
So the polarizer has not only warmed the cool Provia film, but it's taken away all of the glare from the leaves, which allows us to see more of the natural colour. I also suspect that the difference in ambient light between the 10 minutes or so that it took me to go from one shot to the next contributed to the difference in the look of these two shots. So there you have it, the polarizing filter. If you haven't got one, my advice is to stick one on the wish list. So I framed up a, a beautiful shot here. It's incredibly chaotic. We've got this river that's just completely overgrown with trees falling over and branches, but it just somehow works. Somehow there is order in the chaos. And I think a lot of that is to actually do with the reflection of the trees and the pattern that that creates in the water. And obviously we have beautiful colors and it just to me just feels like a, I don't know, almost like an enchanted forest. So we've still got Provia 100 in. I'm at F11, I've got a polarizing filter on and we're looking at a two second exposure. Um, not entirely sure this image is gonna work. It might be too chaotic and messy, um, but we'll see. We'll see if I've finessed my composition enough to make it work. Well, I think it's about time we break out the Hasselblad X-Pan. After all, that is the very reason that I'm here in this beautiful national park in Sweden. And it looks like we have the perfect subject. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> ah, so this is my new Hasselblad X-Pan 2, 35 millimeter, panoramic camera shoots two 35 mil frames side by side and just gives such a fantastic look not just for landscape photography but all kinds of photography it's small relatively light and compact and it's just it's just an iconic camera all right so so far Everything's been incredibly chaotic down here in the ravine. Um, my first image was actually up top there and then I dropped down and it's so chaotic. But now this space where I am is, uh, is slightly more open. We have more sky above, so there's more light coming down through the canopy. So I have switched to a 45 mil lens. The 45 mil is much wider and the way that these trees sort of arc over and the whole thing I just think is going to work beautiful as a panel so f8 30th sorry a third of a second um yeah I mean what, what an absolutely beautiful time of year in a beautiful national park with Hasselblad X Pan 2 come on <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this here we go So I'm not entirely convinced that this shot is going to work. But hey, we'll give it a go anyway. It's just chaos and I, I like the water, the leaves, the colour, but it's all 
<laughs> it might all be a bit too much. What a change of scenery this is. We've gone from the woods to the roadside. So not too far from the National Park where we're shooting, this fantastic field just scattered with these wonderful ancient oak trees. Yeah, there, there is so much potential here. Unfortunately, the time of day isn't far from ideal because we're pretty much shooting into the light and it's cloudy and pretty drab, but the clouds are breaking and every now and again, there's a bit of light that comes through. But um, this, this is what I'm hoping is, uh, is gonna make an image today. But as you can see, it's not ideal with the, <laughs> the roadside situation. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it would take a miracle to save this shoot. But sometimes, miracles can happen. Well, I was just about to give up and hallelujah, out of nowhere comes light and the light is now hitting the trees, but we still have the heavy skies behind, which is fantastic. I'm rushing a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, because this is a rangefinder, you can't see through the lens. So I'm trying to shield the lens from the sun, and I'm almost certain that my, that my hand is gonna be in shot. So I might have to do one with and one without. I'm just going to pop on the longer lens, see if we can get a couple of shots at 90 mil instead of 45 mil. Just getting my focus, the light is perfect. Yeah, what's not perfect though is the traffic. I don't like shooting by the road, it's not a nice experience. Portra 160, F11, focus on the main oak tree, 90 mil. Ah, I'm so glad the light came. It needed it, it needed the light. So now I'm a happy photographer. <laughs> Well, that was certainly a fun video to film, shooting the Hasselblad 501CM and the Hasselblad X-Pan in their home country of Sweden. What a, what a fantastic way to kind of round off this trip. I'm, I'm as far north as I'm going now, and from here I'm turning around and going back home, but it's not over yet because I have got plans for the journey back. So make sure you look out for those videos next week. But for now, I just want to say a big thank you to the sponsor because it's just, ah, it's cost a flipping fortune. This thing 
is as thirsty as you like. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one website building platform where you log on and you can build your own website using their drag and drop system. You can register your own domain. They've got 24 seven customer service. It's easy, simple, anyone can do it. I've done it and I'm rubbish at that kind of thing. And within probably like a day or two and looking at a few tutorials on YouTube, you can get yourself a very professional looking website. It looks great, great for photographers. So if you fancy that, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton, give it a free try. And if you like your free trial, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. Ah, thank you guys so much for watching. Wish me luck as I uh, take all this film to be developed because I don't know if it's, if it's gonna come out. This whole video might just be a, a complete car crash. Um, but anyway, I always think that um, confidence will grow, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm waffling and I've got a bit of driving to do. So until next time, bye for now.